Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's been a week. So, uh, I've read comments, although I didn't read them like super, super carefully, but I do remember uh, getting a glimpse of one that said that while we're in this mansion, we gotta look for a fireplace and check it. Whoa. Uh, is this supposed to be a horrible black void over here? Yeah, yeah. It's probably just to get rid of the walls that you can really? see. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was just gonna say it looks Could very strange. Could you imagine, though, that, if like, it was a sheer drop, though? Yeah, that would be terrifying, and also not out of place in Pokemon. Uh, but, like, I, I don't know, something visually just messed with me there, seeing that, like, the sheer black pit right next to a completely normal wall. Wow, this place is way bigger than I thought it was. Do you think the fireplace is upstairs? I don't know. Also, didn't someone say, uh, look for an amulet coin? Yeah, I think that's, is that the fireplace thing? I don't remember this layout that, very much, so. That's the fireplace thing, that's wow. not really. I, can you go in those rooms with the doors? Uh, probably. Wow, this place is huge then. Okay. Um... I don't know if we want to spend all that time looking for potentially an amulet coin. Does something feel off to you guys about how that's like a real looking human painting? A little bit, yeah. Like that's a painting of an actual, like, a realistic human, not a Pokemon human. That's very strange. <laughs> that feels so out of place. Uh, no, not in here. Kings of ancient times would use Pokemon as sentries. Okay. Where's this fireplace? Whoa. Oh, this is not 3D. Okay. Sorry, I mean, it, it is 3D, but I mean, it moves not how you'd think it would. Yeah, the camera moves Whoa. along with you. It's a little strange. It's like up was going forward through that whole thing, regardless of where the camera was. And left and right were going, like, left and right, based on if the camera were to have been still. Is this it? Is that a fireplace? Yeah, it's a small yeah. fireplace. Yeah, I guess it's a small fireplace with an enormous mirror for a mantle. I've never seen that before. Okay, well, if it's that easy to get an amulet coin, then yeah, sure, that's great. Let's uh, equip that. By the way, I got the most confusing comment ever on, uh, Okay. I think it was, like, episode four or something. I just needed to tell you guys this because I thought it was hilarious. It's the one of the most confusing comments that I think I've ever got. I guess I'll put this on Quacklin since he's out front right now. Um, one of the most confusing comments I've gotten in a while. I... They commented saying, quote, MDB... Uh, was it, like, rushing through this because I'm not really interested in the game? End quote. Okay, that's when I left. See ya, bye. It was something along those lines. To which I replied with, What the fuck are you talking about? This game's really fun so far. I'm having a blast. <laughs> what do you- What? I never said I, I'm rushing through because I- Because I don't- I'm not having fun. I'm having a blast, if anything. Most of the comments are like, Man, you guys are taking this pretty slow. It's a journey, guys. I'm smiling. This is fun. I like this more than Gen 5 so far. I don't know. Something feels good about... I... What's with the music? Uh, she's being real solemn and introspective okay. with you okay. right now. I was about to say, is there going to be a love story in my Pokemon game? Because it feels kind of out of place for how old are we? 10? Uh, 12, 13, maybe like 16, 17 at most because the X and Y protagonists are older than usual. <laughs> oh my god. I've never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. It's morning! <laughs> when are you going to wait till nighttime? Are we? Are we going to stand there till nighttime? Yeah, Dratini uses surf. Dratini uses water sport. <laughs> I'll never forget these fireworks, but I haven't seen them yet. It's just gonna be the one. 
because I watched them with you and me. Okay, hold on, hold on. I know I was just praising the game, but who decided what Pokemon really needed was a forced love story with your main character and someone else? Uh, Again, the balcony is not supposed to be black. Okay. Or the background. Or the mountain. Yeah. Is it supposed to be daytime? <laughs> it's not supposed to be a void. Uh, <laughs> is it supposed to be night, though? No. It just happens whenever, uh, like, the time of day is. Fireworks normally happen at night, but maybe they decide at this mansion that fireworks can happen during the day. Ah, uh, maybe. Wow. That was amazing. You ever actually tried to look at fireworks during the day? It doesn't look half as good. Oh, Wonderful. my God. Wonderfru is literally a word that Fatima uses as a joke. Wow. Like, wow. like it was her making up words. And then someone in this game uses it. You have no idea how happy she would be if she played this right now. I would never hear the end of it. Uh, the Poke Flute. Sure. Sure, I remembered. I totally remembered. <laughs> oh, right, to wake up Snorlax, because he's on that tiny bridge. You'd think if that's a routine issue in this world, that Poke Flutes would be a little more abundant, you know? you think that, that if that was an issue, they would just make bridges wider. Yeah, that too. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of solutions to this problem. Or maybe you just fight the Snorlax. You know, like you can fight every other Pokemon. Or you just throw a Pokeball at it while it's asleep, because then you have an easier time Ooh, to catch it. Good point. I mean, it would have full health, but you can beat it up in its sleep. It's asleep. We already know you're allowed to beat a Pokemon in their sleep. We've always been doing that. Do you know anything about Mega Evolution? Uh. Instead of giving people discount Pokeballs, you just give them all Ultra Balls and you have an easier time catching everything. I mean, if you're rich enough, then sure. These people are rich. Shouldn't they have some Master Balls? What is the production of, like, how, how do you make a Master Ball? I just noticed that, for whatever reason, the Discord thing on screen is not lighting up as other people talk. Hmm. I mean, oh, it's not. You're right. If I open that and then do this no i fixed yeah. it yay oh, there we go uh all i did was i i had it minimized i forgot if you minimize it it like freezes the discord window that is it's a window capture with like transparency and stuff yay oh i was gonna do my victory spin but uh it, i'm not allowed to spin out here no because you're technically indoors <gasps> oh, this is like diagonal down and left was just bringing me down and to the right. That felt so wrong. Oh, man. Like, it's... Honestly, I probably would have an easier time with those sections if they just did tank controls, because at least I've played a lot of games with tank controls. I don't mind it too much. People complain, but I really didn't. never minded tank controls. Then again, I like old Resident Evil, so I guess that makes sense. All right, um, I already don't remember. They did hand us the Poke flu, right? Or did they just hand yeah. us the TM? The uh, check your key items. Yeah, good idea. I'm just making sure because I remember them handing me that. I don't remember if they actually yeah. handed me the, okay. I couldn't remember if they handed it to me or if they told me to get it from the library. Wait, 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 wait. Evolution before you go this shit. way. Oh. Um, I think there's a path off to the right and left of this dirt path, if you head down. Uh. I'm sorry. It's you said not down, here. You said yeah, down. Yeah, there it is. Oh, down to the. Okay. Yeah, this will actually lead into the uh, tall grass of Route oh. Six. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Hold on. What, what what is that thing? That's a backpacker. Oh, I thought it was an item. I thought I saw a 2D item. Nope. Full guy. Okay. I think Jerome. we're still poisoned, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, knockoff is... 
Actually, what was the power of knockoff compared to Aerial Ace again? I actually it's don't It's 65, remember. but uh, Quacklin's going to get uh, stabbed from Aerial Ace. Yeah, I, I, I guess Aerial Ace is my best move then. Ooh, that's not bad. Also, I did not know that my favorite Pokemon has a 5% chance of spawning in this grass. Ooh, I do remember reading a comment that said hmm. that there's a few Pokemon that we've passed with like 5% chance, but that, uh, yeah. you know, 5% is pretty hard. So I can get Kecleon in here then. Yeah. I do like Kecleon. There are a couple of new Gen 6 Pokemon you can catch here. One has a 20% spawn rate. Ooh. The other one has a 15% spawn rate. Okay, that's not too bad. I can find those. Let's stay here until we find them. Neither of which are really cool. Uh, the comment section would love for you to find the 15% spawn rate. I'm sure they would. A few people got very upset about me saying that I thought Lucario is a little bit bland. Some people took it very personally. Oh, hey, Lucario I like is bland. I, I think he's kind of bland, but that's the thing. I don't know. Maybe he's got more of a personality in the show. I don't know. I don't watch it. Um, but, oh, I didn't think that'd be a one shot. <laughs> well, whatever. God, he's oh, no. buffer Centric. than I thought he'd be. Um, yeah, you can, that's okay. I don't, I don't think your favorite Pokemon sucks. And even if I did, what does it matter? You know, you can like what you like. You don't need to like Drowsy. That's my favorite Pokemon. If you think Drowsy sucks, then you think Drowsy sucks. That's fine. Wildling Cod, does he look a little off? A little bit, yeah. If you look at him from the front, he definitely looks a little bit weird. He almost looks like he could be a shiny or something. Like, he looks different. Okay, I don't want to kill him. For that. Yeah, funny. knockoff might save him. Oh, oh, yeah, easily. Okay, that's a lot less. Right, I forgot. He's kind of a high defense Pokemon, isn't he? Yeah, Ninkata is, but not Ninjask or Shedinja. Yeah. Especially not Shedinja. Definitely not Shedinja. I mean, it could have the highest defense in the world. It wouldn't matter. Um, but, uh, Ninkata? Was that the name of the evolution again? Ninjask. Yep. Ninjask, well, nin that was ninjask. it. Ninkata is this one. Ninkata is this. Yes. Uh, I was not looking at it, and I was trying to remember where I knew that name from. Anyway, uh, Ninjask is high speed, right? It's got speed boost? Yeah, it's very good for Baton Pass, because it has speed boost, mm -hmm. it has access to Swords Dance. You could protect to get two speed boosts and then baton pass to someone else to get them like plus two attack and plus two speed after a swords dance protect. Mm hmm. I remember I used to use a uh, ninjask a little bit when I was a kid playing Sapphire, but I, I was just using him because I thought he looked cool. Like I, I didn't have any kind of great battle plan going in, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't mind using him and using baton pass, honestly, just because. As an adult, there I can look is. at that and, oh, it's the sword Pokemon. Yeah, it's Steel Ghost. Just, it's just a sword. It's a Get sword it. with an eyeball, and it's holding its own. You know what? I like the animation, even if it looks kind of lazy, just the Pokemon itself. I like the eye. I like the eye blinking. That helps. What is it? Like Steel and Psychic? Steel, Steel Ghost. Ghost. Steel Ghost. Uh, Look, so really solid typing. Soul Edge. Steel and Ghost. That is a good combo. Is that the same combo as Golurk, or was that Ground and Ghost? It's Ground Ghost. Okay. Oh, wow, I held on. Uh, I kind of want this guy. That's yeah. actually a really cool combo, and it looks kind of cool. I want to get into Luxury Ball, just because that'd be fancy. The shiny version of this Pokemon is actually really sweet. Actually, I have a shiny version of its fully evolved form, which I got in Wonder Trade a while ago, back when I was actually playing this game. I caught a Pokemon. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> you got a Jiggy. Uh, so the story behind why I put that on my soundboard, by the way, I was editing the episode of Deadly Premonition 2 where we were getting the Fleur de Lis. And mm -hmm. I remember we remarked at how, like, oh, there's no sound effect for it. It kind of feels like there should be one. And in editing, I was looking at that, and I was like, yeah, there should be one. And it should be the jiggy noise. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to put that on my soundboard. Also... Oh, uh, you know what you should have you should have done as well? Uh, or could have done instead was Donkey Kong 64's Do -do Donkey Kong. Yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> I need to get both on there. Okay, uh, let's let's switch. 
So he's awake now and energized. I don't exactly know what that is going to be like. Uh, he'll just he'll just punch out uh, that punching bag at better efficiency. Okay. Yep, definitely, definitely way better shiny than I've seen in almost any Pokemon is Sword Pokemon. Honedge. Sword Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember the name too. It's a uh, it's a red blade with like a deeper purple eye. He's the Grand Master at the Blades. No. <laughs> That's uh Joffrey. Uh I don't know if it's Joffrey actually. Sorry, we're, we're now making an Elder Scrolls reference, everybody. Grandmaster of the Blades might be Joffrey? I don't know. A confused reference to a game we're not playing. Now, did you notice, by the way, we got 420 experience points. Mm -hmm. I would like to remind okay. everybody in the audience that is, in fact, the weed number. Weed, weed. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Uh, it'll never stop being funny to me. Someone saying the word weed like it's an air horn. Something about that is hilarious. Are you a famous person in these parts? Yes, no. hello, I am Big League MDB, famous YouTube Let's Player. <laughs> so dignified. Do you see my sunglasses? Don't you see my sunglasses? Here it is. <gasps> Come on. Be cool! Please be cool! It's Fletchender. Okay, it's... Oh, I like the cry. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Bird 2. Okay, I like Bird 2. It's learning Ember, cool. Uh, you guys did let me know it gets fire stuff. Um... I get rid of Flail. Yeah, I like Flail. It's cool. It's a little niche. Um... Don't know how well I'm gonna be able to set it up with this guy, just cause I don't know. Flying Pokemon usually aren't that tanky, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I worry he would just, you know, take too much damage per hit to reliably land on low health. So what are his stats like now? Extra speed, less attack. Okay, well it's a good thing I have Amber then. Uh, um. Oh, Flame Body. That's uh, one of my favorite abilities. Mischievous. <laughs> Yeah, I always thought Flame Body was kind of cool. I just thought Burned as a status affliction is pretty cool in general. Uh, just probably because as a kid it happened so rarely. Venishock is really good, right? It's good against poisoned Pokemon. Otherwise, it's just a yeah. standard like 60-ish power uh, poison move. I remember that move was... Oh, I gotta go back. Okay. I think I yeah. need to explore that area just a little more. So There's also an area off the left as well, so you can get more items. Okay. Um... I wonder if I should come back here when I have the item finder, or if the stuff here just isn't worth it. It's, uh, you know, this early on in the game level of items. Mm-hmm. So, like, super potion. Maybe I could get, like, an ether, you know? That might be good yeah. for the Elite Four later. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna Come say? On, right, on. right, you barely ever burned people in like Gen yeah. 1 and stuff. I like Oddish. Uh, you never really burned things in in Gen 1 that much, because you mm -hmm. know there wasn't um, there wasn't stuff like like Will o Wisp yet. There weren't particularly easy ways to burn people. I think it was just like a 10% chance off of fire attacks, and so I'd rarely ever see the burn. So I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so maybe that's why Flame Body is interesting to me. Also, this is my first ever Let's Play recording session, uh, where I have a lacrosse ball digging into my spine. Hmm. Now, I'm sure some people want to know why I have a lacrosse ball digging into my spine, because that seems like just a weird thing to have happen. I have no reason to have tackle anymore, do I? Unless you want to try, um, mm. try catching Pokemon easier. Yeah, also low power points on that. And am I ever really going to use Tail Whip? Would you use Sand Attack anymore? I'm more likely to use Sand Attack than Tail Whip. All right. Where the hell is the Friend Safari? It's in Endgame. 
God For some reason, it. Brandon, I thought you were going to say, where the hell is the friend zone? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently Growlithe is only found in the friend safari. All right, we, you got to lead me to the friend zone then, Brandon, because I want a Growlithe. Friend zone is after you beat the champion, so. I say that's end game, so like that's. Oh, really? It's going to be forever. I want a Growlithe. Growlithe's cool. That's fine. I probably wasn't going to have him on the team anyway, just because I, I want to experience some of the newer Pokemon. But what about... Can we get other Pokemon that I like? <laughs> that you don't want to... I crit. That you don't want to say the name of. Yeah. What, going to leave it a surprise? Just because I don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to say it and then be like, well, fuck, we can't find it here either. Uh, it's only in the Friend Safari again. God damn God it. God damn it, it is. <laughs> 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 okay, if it's only in the friend safari, then say it. I wanted Sandshrew. Oh, Sandshrew's cool. Why are all the cool Pokemon in the friend safari? I'm trying to remember, Brandon. Were both Growlithe and Sandshrew Pokemon blue? I don't know. Growlithe, I feel like, was red. Because maybe. Because now that I think about it, I think a lot of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 1. Oh, 420! Whoa! Uh, Whoa! I think a lot of my favorite Pokemon in Gen 1 were, ooh, Slash, were blue exclusives just by coincidence. Oh, I don't need Fury Attack at all, do I? Uh, oh, Slash Sandshrew is awesome. Is New best move. Sandshrew was a blue Pokemon, and yeah. Growlithe was red. And I know that Coughing was also blue, if I remember right, because Ekans was red. Oh, actually, hang on. Um, according to Bulbapedia, Sandshrew was in green, blue, and yellow. And Growlithe was in red, blue, and yellow. Uh, Growlithe was in red, blue, and yellow. Growlithe was in all of them? All of the ones we got, apparently. But and, it's oh. it's saying green. And the only one that Coughing's not in is yellow. Oh, oh, doi. Ah. Uh, li listen below the under the blue header is the Pokemon distribution in Japanese Pokemon blue. So it's um, not the same as Western. In other words, cool. Western Pokemon blue, a.k.a. Japanese green, Growlithe is not in. Okay, huh. gotcha. That's mu that must be where I was getting confused then. It's the sword! Okay, so I gotta start trying to actually remember the names of these new Pokemon. How Hone do I edge. say this? Hone, Hone edge? edge? On Edge? It, on it, edge? It's Because it could be like Honor and Edge, or it could be Ooh. Hone and Edge. I was thinking it was Hone Edge because of the fact that it's... Um, like you'd be honing a sword. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of like the whole... So then, yeah, Hone Edge would probably be the most accurate way of saying it. Okay, so I know some people, this always gets brought up, ooh, that, yeah, bug's not going to work on me. Um, yeah, some people are going to bring up, like, I'm sure at the anime or something, they say it out loud. The literal creator of Pokemon said there's no official way to pronounce any Pokemon name. It's kind of up to interpretation. Yeah, like Rutata. Yeah, which, the way I say it was actually in a hand guide I grew up with. Although the same hand guide said that uh, Pidgeot was called Pidget. Yep, that's how I called it for years because of that. Yep, so it's it, and it's an official hand guide. So like, is it legit? Is it not legit? I, I guess the the creator says that there's no legit pronunciation, and in general, I tend to agree with that because that's how the English language works in general. Mm -hmm. And although you know the game was obviously made in Japanese, um, yeah, most languages are largely up to interpretation, and the way words are pronounced just kind of changes all the time based on colloquialisms, which I can't believe I nailed that word first try, by the way. I always stumble on that word. Um, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Everyone in the comments, like the video, subscribe and comment how good Madrai Bread is at saying the word colloquialism. Yes, everyone comment and say, uh, wow, Walmart Gooset is really good at saying colloquialism. Walmart Gooset. <laughs> Someone called me that yesterday and I hearted it. It was great. <laughs> Walmart goose. I think wow. it was it was clearly a joke based on well, the, yeah. the Walmart muffin squad. Uh, Walmart muffin squad. They You're said more like a Sears goose. It honestly. I I think another person said. Uh, I someone was else was saying like so happy to see the series back and everything. I missed. Uh, I missed what was it? Walmart uh, muffin squad and what a geese. I think it was something like that. 
Because if, if it's Gooset, then the other one has to be another bird because it's the flock. Mm -hmm. I guess they heard the old nickname and they thought it was related to the new stuff. Possibly. Uh, however, completely coincidental. <laughs> I, I didn't even put the two things together. I got, like, fully legitimate. Somebody said, Zeller's Mitten Squad. Ooh, I like that because Canadian. That's pretty good because I'm Canadian. That's a deep Canadian cut right there. Zellers is out of business, isn't it? Yeah, but it was trending on Twitter a little while ago. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> people were reminiscing about Zellers. <laughs> <laughs> I will repeat my question. Why? Why? You know, Zeddy's the restaurant and people like it just came up. People were just reminiscing. Were they simply reminiscing about how it existed? Because I can't think of any fond times I've had in <laughs> Zellers. Thinking about like all like the things they really miss about Zellers and people <laughs> had their first kiss at Zellers or something. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll never forget your first time at the IKEA. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> what good memories are you talking about with I Zellers? Don't know. All the all the Zellers buildings are still there. <laughs> like the buildings still stand. So yeah, I don't know why people are still there. It's, it's just it's just something else now. It's something that people actually want to go to and purchase things from. <laughs> it still probably you'll has like the outline your, of the letters in the building. You'll never forget <laughs> your very first blowjob from Target. <laughs> Haven't we all been there? The good old to days. Target, yeah. Don't you remember the good old days when you could get blown at Target? <laughs> I assume that's what America is like. I don't think we have Target up here, do we? I was going to say, in Canada, that was a very short window when we had Target. Yeah, I only re I remember it was it made the news when we got Target, and then it was just kind of gone. Well, because <laughs> they took over all of the Zellers, and then they were like, well, our business isn't really doing well here, so we're leaving. Goodbye. You can yes. have it back. <laughs> so we we lost our, our big, like, sells a bunch of random shit department store place. We yeah. lost it to Target, and then Target pulled out of the country because it's not profitable here. Yeah, so now all we have is Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome to Canada. <laughs> uh, Canada's a wacky world where nothing makes sense and everything falls apart on a routine basis. And then we just all pretend like Zellers was great in the first place. Zellers sucked. And then tar Target came in, and it sucked, and now we have neither. <laughs> uh, okay, um, did I catch all the Pokemon that we were actually interested in there? No, there was one other one that you haven't really? seen yet. And that there's one was one, a 20% chance spawn, there's, so there's I'm surprised. Two you, there's two that you haven't seen, one that we have a chance of actually seeing. Yeah, Kecleon's the 5% that we haven't seen, but there's a 20% yeah. you haven't seen yet. I kind of want to catch it just because this is a journey. People know that I'm going to be flagrantly wasting their time in this series. Let me just Maybe I can get away with quick. it. Okay, yeah. The only route that you can find this other Pokemon is this route. Okay, so I was going to say, if we could get on like the next route, then we may as well keep going. There it is. There oh, it is. that was quick. What is this guy? I don't think I've ever seen it. He's a psychic type. It's Esper. Oh, like it, like purring, and then like, also, yeah. okay. Oh, and it's got scratch. Okay. When I think Esper, I immediately think Final Fantasy. Fucking three slash six, depending on if you want to go by the old SNES English names or the Japanese ones or whatever. I I don't want to get into that fucking debate. But I just want to make sure they know what game I'm talking about. The one with S bars. <laughs> Was this one a a girl or a boy? This one's a girl, so it'll evolve into one of two uh, forms. Oh, oh, there's two different Pokemon? That yes, and they actually have uh, stat differences, I'm pretty okay. sure. Okay, I love that shit. When they evolve into two different Pokemon, like um, Motham or Ma mm, Wormadam and Motham? Wormadam, yep. Those were the names? Yeah, I was just using them recently in a Honey Tree Only run. All right, all right, we got a Psychic type. That's kind of cool. Should I catch another one? I never thought this Pokemon was cool myself. It looks a little bland, but I imagine after it evolves, I'll probably be more interested in it. 
Actually, yeah. I take that back about having different stats. Their stats are the same between the two oh. um, genders, but their move sets are different. Man, I am critting a lot. Are you noticing this? Huh. I mean, I'm tabbed out, so oh, I didn't okay. see that one. I uh, I just keep critting these centrits with tackle. Uh, it looks like the female version of of the cat thing is just it just gets better moves. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna go oh. towards the exit, and if I catch another one on my way, and I or did not. Leon. Damn. On Man. the next episode, everybody, we go to the next route, and I'll route probably come seven. back here at some point. Yay! Because I actually really want a Kecleon. <gasps> Me too! On the next episode, everybody! Hey, mister, this way. This way. <laughs> We're gonna follow a little girl on the next episode. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. Go up!